What up, dudes? It's Picks of Tricks. Welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. I was having a hard time uh, moving to the side there. Yeah, we're actually chilling with Renato today, showing Renato some love. Yeah, I uh, went ahead and grinded up Renato, as well as our other dudes here. <laughs> you may be wondering, where is Barry's Chesto Berry? Well, <laughs> in a horrible coincidence, one of the only things to show up here is a drowsy, and they all have hypnosis and disable and confusion, and it's a super annoying way to grind. But unfortunately, it's the only thing that I could do at uh, this current moment in time. Yeah, I guess our ditto encounter was very rare. It's a shame it doesn't have imposter, or else it could have been like a fun thing to actually use. But for the time being, um, yeah, all of our goons are all leveled up. The chest of berry is gone, and the first thing we're going to do is stop by the game corner, because I managed to save up enough coins and get the things that I wanted to buy. First thing we're going to do is buy the TM Swords Dance for a whopping 4,000 coins. Seems uh, pretty expensive. No, 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 I don't want that. And the other thing we're going to get is the Silk Scarf for 1,000 coins. A lot cheaper. Yeah, this game, um, it seems really complicated at first, but once you play a couple rounds and wrap your head around what you're trying to do, it's really uh, quite fun, actually. It's having a good time, but I'm so sick of this theme song, so we're immediately getting out to the very nice uh, nighttime Goldenrod City theme. Yeah, I'm really exposed. All of these being recorded at night, honestly, is <laughs> the only time I really have to record, but that's quite all right. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to our TMs and finally use one of our TMs. Uh, that is an HM, of course. Uh, if I can find it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and teach Sword Dance to Nibbles to give them a little edge. Nibbles is unable to learn Sword Dance? There's just no way. Maybe when they evolve they'll be able to learn it. That would be kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Well, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and slap on that Silk Scarf to boost their normal type attacks, which is nice. Dark Glasses actually wouldn't be too bad on them because they have some of the uh, Dark type moves. Let's go ahead and check out this building, huh? Yeah, this is where we could buy all the TMs, check out all the shops, see what they're selling. See if they got anything nice, anything fancy. What you selling? Let's have a look. All the potions. I do need a few potions. I don't want to buy too many. I got no mines, bro. Uh, okay, we got plenty of antidotes. Revives are next to worthless to us because it's a Nuzlocke, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all my stuff I don't need. Like, I don't need this. Thankfully, it does sell decently high, so I guess it's not worthless to us. Never gonna use Embargo. We could sell this. Sure. Oops, not Flash. <laughs> flash would be kind of useful to have, to be perfectly honest. X attack, that can go... I like the menu with, the, like, the bags and stuff. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm never going to really use the average stone, but it's, like, one of those things. I just kind of want to hold on to it. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, they got Ultra Balls here. Um, I suppose we could buy two. Do we even want to right now? I don't think we even really need to. We have Escape Ropes. We have plenty of Pokeballs. I want to save them for, like, TMs and fun stuff, you know? I know we should be out here buying the essentials, but I want to have a good time. I don't want to be responsible, dudes. Let's get five X speeds. <laughs> Even though we can't use them in a Nuzlocke. Wow, I like the detail of the uh, shop here. It's pretty fun. Let's see what they got. What are you selling? Oh, they got the protein items and stuff. Cool. Dude, we can't even afford one. Look at these prices. Hold on. Your prices are outrageous. How is anyone supposed to buy that ever? That's like strictly endgame stuff for like a point. I wonder why they make it so expensive. I guess juicing up your mons this early on would be pretty OP. They don't tell you what the moves are, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> the user flashes a light that cuts the foe's ac- Okay, so that's flash. Um, enables the user to evade all attacks. Chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. I think it's like detect or protect. It's probably protect, right? Uh, this is endure. Oh no, this is a false swipe. Right, okay. Uh, the berry determines the type and power. Is that belch? I'm not sure. Wondrous wall of lives put up to suppress damage, to special attacks. Okay, so this is light screen and reflects. Um, solar beam. May also lowers the spadef stat if it hits. Was that focus blast? I want to say it's focus blast. Uh, so this must be fire blast, right? Look at Thunderbolt is dropped on the target to inflict damage, so this must be Thunder. This would be Blizzard, right? 
and Hyper Beam. Okay, well, honestly, not very useful moves, to be perfectly honest. I was a little more uh, excited. I guess Reflect would be nice, but we don't even have Light Clay or anything fun like that. Let's see what they got. Must try of the Goldenrod Department Store. Welcome to the Daily Drawing Counter. You tried for 300 bucks, and we have wonderful prizes. Would you like to try it? And why not? All right, please draw one. Wow, you got yourself the number three prize. Please take it. Hey, we got ourselves a berry. Wonderful, that's cool. $300 berry, better than nothing, I guess. So we got the worst prize, but hey, a prize is a prize. So I guess you can't be too mad. If you get tired, try the vending machine drinks. Your Pokemon will love them too. Yeah, these are like kind of like health items. I'm not sure if you could buy in bulk. Fresh water is pretty nice. The caveat, you have to buy one at a time. So if anyone's got patient for that, please go right ahead. Um, also, on the rooftop, they have sales where they have like... um. Like special items at certain days of the week. I think it may be the weekends or something along those lines But yeah, I guess for the time being we're all set Maybe we should go back and buy like a ultra ball or two I thought I would want more money to buy things, but the TMs unfortunately aren't the most exciting thing in the world That's quite all right. Maybe as we progress uh, more will unlock or something All right, we'll go ahead and get 10 great balls. So we get a free uh, premiere ball just because and with that, I guess we're all set. <laughs> oh, what's up with you? Are you just the welcome committee? Welcome to the store, thanks. What a job. It's Todd. Todd Howard? Good evening, Pix. It's me, Todd. Were you awake? My Zadok is looking more and more like me. It's getting cuter. <laughs> what? And you know what? We just failed to beat Rotata by a tiny margin. I'm guessing my Pokemon's levels aren't high enough yet. See you later. <laughs> One admission. At least he's honest. Gotta respect that. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's have a look. So if we go over here, isn't this where like Bill is? I think that's after uh, we see him in the other town. Yeah, I believe so. So this is the radio tower. It certainly is. What do you want, you pest scram? I'm so mean in this game, bro. Whoa, hello? Global terminal, an amazing, completely global tor terminal. This is new. This is for like online back when that was active. I actually think there are like fan servers that you can access and uh, do Pokemon battles online, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> Maybe we'll look into that uh, when all is said and done here. Radio tower, lottery corner. Uh, yeah, this has to do with your ID. You can actually get a, um, a master ball if you're lucky enough, but that's my lotto number, and I did not get- I don't think I've ever gotten a match with that. Uh, five questions correctly in the road to win a radio card. Right, right, we need this. Um, okay. First question. Can you check your town map with poke gear? Yes. Uh, second question. Nidorina can only be female, correct? Okay. Current the Pokemon creator uses a apricots as a great- no. Apricorns. Uh, is it possible to use a TM on Magikarp, true? Yes. Uh, in Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, he's on with Maria. No. Bingo, you got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize, the radio card. Okay, we can now listen to the radio, which will, like, change the music and stuff, which is pretty cool. Wow, you did it. I thought the answer on the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to get back to the gym. Yeah, that's the gym leader for uh, this town. That's Whitney. The stuff of nightmares. Uh, but we'll get to her. Let's uh, try not to worry about that for now. Yeah, let's do a little more exploring. I think there's a little more to this place that we can have a look at. What's with the tent? Whoa, what is this? Freaking shiny force shit. Hello, hello, I'm the name raider. Why do you live in this? No. <laughs> I don't remember you, bro. Watch out. Uh, get off your bike at the tunnel. That's right. We don't have a bike yet. Hey, it's Lyra. Hey, Bex. You're just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you use a dress-up shop. You'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories and dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. It's a present for me. Hmm. 
Keep the accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See ya. Well, I don't remember that, dudes. That's fun. Goldenrod department store. Okay. Oh my god, this guy's theme. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. This guy's a sketch lord, my boys. Yo. Maniac Donald's. With this slow poke. Oh, well, let's use that nice gust. <clears throat> yeah, Renato managed to learn some stab a little while ago. It took me a while to get this boy up, I'm not even gonna lie. And they got Yawn, unfortunately for me, so we'll hit him with another gust. And then uh, catch some Z's for a bit, but that's quite alright. We could actually uh, just go ahead and swap here. While Renato gets some rest. Go to Fuka. Get our bird back up here. Those birds gotta look out for each other. Hit with the ground, not too bad. Oh yeah, so Fuka learned Aerial Ace, which is so useful, man. Wow. Yeah, Fuka's been destroying things with that. Like crazy, man. And level 20 for you, wonderful. And another Slowpoke. Uh, let's go out to Nibble and try to spread out the experience a little bit. I think you're about to level up too, if I have everything uh, done right. No, I'm a ways away with Nibble. Unforged now. I wonder if I could actually uh, one-shot this thing. Oh yeah, probably with Bite. <laughs> it's funny, you got this Silk Scarf and we're not even using it. Wow, it didn't even take him out. Well, yeah, this is a bulk of Slowpoke. I did manage to uh, level up Sploosh. So Sploosh is around level 19. Actually, uh, using them is great, dude. As you saw, I mean, like, it took a bite from a level 19 Radita. Like, these Pokemon are really defensively very strong. So, I think we'll actually be fine to use them. I'm not using them currently because, well, we have a lot of Mons. And, uh, we got a lot of leveling up to do. But they'll have their time to shine. Guy I lost it makes me so mad. What? Renato is evolving! It's funny, I always thought it was level 16, but it's level 18 for, uh, Pidgeot evolved to Pidgeotto. I love this mon so much. One of my favorite bird Pokemon. Everyone used a Pidgeotto back in the day. And check it out, we get a double evolution, both of our burbs. I don't really use Furo that much, but they are a really good Pokemon. They're actually very strong, comparatively at least. Physical attacks and all that. Having access to Aerial Ace this early. God, this thing is going to be a threat, bro. Whoa, look at you. Look at you. Renato looks so cool, dudes. What's wrong? Renato's trying very hard to keep up with y'all. They're tired, dude. Let's go ahead and see how um, Fuka looks, huh? Stain's a threat, my boys. Whoa. Awesome. I love it. Very cool. Fuka's poking at garbage. Hey, stop that. Eh, it's a little better. A little more scale, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rip. Ignored. Do you consider the Pokemon types in battle? If you know about the different types of Pokemon, you'll do better in battle. Oh, damn. Take notes, dudes. This guy's serious. Yo, what is that? It's right, Super No Teru. <laughs> Use a little remote control to machine type, steel type Pikachu. Why isn't that a thing yet? Wow, that's awesome. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and bite this boy. No flinch, unfortunately. God, it took it so well. That's kind of crazy, bro. Yeah, we might have a chance to actually catch a Magnemite pretty soon here. That'd be a great addition to the team. They have many Magnemite. Uh, also level 7. Alright, let's uh, try to give all the experience to Nibble if we can. We might want to switch out to Wesker here to make our lives a little easier. Metal sounds. That's slightly concerning, but we are pretty high level, so I don't think we should matter... It shouldn't matter too much. And I believe the other thing this guy has is like two Voltorbs, if I remember correctly. 
No, more Magnemite. Maybe the old version was like that. Level 9, a little more scary, but... Hey, if we get a flinch, we won't have to worry about it. This will be a 3-hit KO. Um, it did too. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Right, there's the flinch. Wonderful. Nimble's like, I got this. Leave it to me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to catch him up, man. He's almost level 20. There's the Voltorb. I, I knew I was remembering that right. But I like their sprite in this. And with that headbutt. Silk Scarf boosted stab headbutt. And that's going to definitely take out Voltorb. They're pretty frail as it is, and it's going to be enough to get Nibble to level 20. Look at that. Ow, ow, ow. I love that sprite, man. That is awesome. And look at that. Nibble is evolving. Wonderful, bro. You'll love to see that. Been waiting for this one, boyos. Look at you. Look at how many seen, bro. Arr. Congratulations, Nibble evolved and Eradicate. I've always loved Rad Eradicate ever since the anime episode versus Starmie where they like bit that Starmie's like gem. I was like, whoa, Eradicate is one of the best Pokemon. Uh, dude, freaking, um, oh, wants to learn Scary Days? Nah, fantastic. Look at you. Looks like a little mole rat. Nibble seems to want to play with picks. Look at that. They look awesome. I love Eradicate. They're freaking so badass. I'm going to miss that little Nibble sprite though. Fantastic. My team looking fierce, my boys. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and see. So now you can learn Sword Dance, right? That isn't like a thing you can't learn. Because I'm trying to make this Radicate extra powerful, my boys. Uh, Yeah, there you go. Okay, I was worried there for a moment. Now we got Sword Dance, Silk Scarf Boosted Headbutts coming out, my boys. Uh, it's really kind of a hard call because... Sucker Punch can fail, even though it's a lot more powerful, and Quick Attack is Stab. I know it's kind of like a... And, and we already got, like, you know, uh, Dark-type damage with Bite. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of Sucker Punch. It has less PP. Um, In the right situation, it would be a lot more useful, but I mean, like... I don't know, something... I, I think Quick Attack is good with Silk Scarf and Stab, like, for sure. Wonderful, love to see it. Hey, we'll lead with uh, Petra, bro. Leave these fools petrified, you feel me? What's going on here, bro? A memorial photo studio. We're no ordinary studio. You can wear a Team Rocket uniform to take a picture. Would you like to try it? Yes? Please stand in front of the camera once you've changed. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I joined Team Rocket! Are you ready? Come on, look cool as if you own the worlds. That's pretty badass, bro. Whoa! That is great. I love that. Good job. You can check the picture using the PC. Your Pokemon are so very charming, how enchanting. If you dress up your Pokemon here, make it a sight to behold. Now I'll even hang a picture of one in the other room. You will do this, won't you? Sure. Oh, oh yes, how nice. Let's not delay. Should I explain how to dress? Nah, I'll figure it out. I wonder which Pokemon you'll dress up. Okay, you know I gotta dress up that nibble. Teehee, I hope you would dress up adorably. <laughs> you see your accessories on the left side of the lower screen. Touch the accessory, drag it to the Pokemon to the right, and position it securely. You can put on 10 accessories, so you should check for the right ones using the arrow button. Ch change the background, the square button at the center right. Okay, let's begin dressing. What is this, like fluff? Like, you just got out of the bath or what? <laughs> sure, that's great. I love it. What do you think? Oh, God, and the fire animates too? That's great. Would you like to save this gen? Let's do that. Let's do just that, please. Nice work. Let's display the photo right away. Oh, but it needs to have a title. Radita. Sure. Even though it's Radicate, I can't find Radicate though. Radita. Oh, yes, yes, I get it now. Your aesthetic shine through. I put your photo up right here. It just looks so perfect there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we can just go over here. Oh, uh, it's somewhere. Wonderful. <laughs> Love to see that. That's a cool new thing. It looks like we don't have the people that do the haircuts here. It is rather late, after all. 
That's more Pokemon fights. It's so funny, bro. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you Astronomers. Yeah, you can actually give your Pokemon haircuts here, and uh, the more haircuts you give your Pokemon, uh, the more it'll increase their um, affection towards you. Yeah, that was a new thing. Oh, this man got a Lickitung. That's perfect for Petra. Yeah, they just learned uh, Brick Break. Chops. <laughs> it's so funny that it doesn't have a sound effect. Isn't that weird? I wonder why that is. It's very strange. Very strange design choice. So, I I guess it's like too far away, so we can't hear them. Maybe maybe that's the logic. What's the deal with you? I got boosted. Oh, booted out of the game corner. I kept winning at the new coin game, and they thought I was cheating. I wish I was winning that much. Oh my god, it took me a while to get this stuff. My man's pulling up with a Grimer. I love Grimer. What a cool Pokemon. I hope there's a chance we could actually find a Grimer. Yeah, I went back and I taught Headbutt to every single Pokemon I possibly can learn it in my team. <laughs> like, I want everyone to have this move. It's so good, bro. Especially early game. The fact you can teach Headbutt to all your Pokemon is OP, bro. Like, just a free TM. Before you would only get it as a TM, you could buy it over and over again, but that costs money, you know? And the fact that you just get it for free is freaking great. With that night, Aerial Ace. There you go, yeah, Petra is wonderful, um, coverage. I wanted to give Sword Dance for her. I might do it sometime in the future. Super Nerd Eric, grumble, grumble. Wonderful. But I mean, Petra's already strong enough. They don't need that boost. No entry beyond this point, I'm doing it. Damn it. Well, I'm out of ideas. Well, that was fun. Okay, we got the radio card. We uh, checked the underground. Went to the stores. Oh, that's right, we have to go down here now. If you your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Let me see your Pokemon. It's friendly towards you. It looks sort of happy. You only sort of happy, Petra. It's friendly towards you. It looks sort of happy. It's not even... Nibble. All right. Well, I guess they're not uh, friendly enough for it yet. In the future, that could be a good replacement for Headbutt. I don't know, man. Headbutt has been putting in work for me. I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Can you ride a bicycle and advertise it for me? Really great. Give me your name and phone number. I'll loan you the bicycle. All right. So, uh, give us this bicycle to use. Oh, please tell me it's green, too. I actually feel like you move fast enough in this game. You don't even really need it. And then you'll have to put your Pokemon away if you use it, right? I think so. Uh, let's see. Register. Okay, so now I can just, uh, take it out with the press of a button. Like so. Yeah, that makes your Pokemon go away. Which I don't like. That's like a huge thing in this game, is walking around with your Pokemons. I'll use it for a little while, though. It is nice. A little faster, right? Okay, with all that taken care of, I suppose let's go ahead and build a team for the next gym. The normal type gym, which sounds easy, but believe me, it's pretty tough. Okay, it looks like we got a pretty threatening team for a normal type gym. Let's see what we do with uh, our squad here. I haven't checked levels or anything. I've been trying to keep it like pretty close to the previous gym leader. So I guess we'll see how that strategy works out for me. Whoa, all the pink. Go jump and making. This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. Recommend you use fine type Pokemon. That's the plan, my man. I like the redesign. Look at all this. Yeah, this place, it's in the shape of a Clefairy. That's right. Back when uh, Clefairy was the normal type. Is it still Clefairy? It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. She thinks I'm cute, dudes. It's a uh, Beauty Victoria. Okay, at least they are rolling up with the normal type Pokemon. These are just the uh, starting um, trainers, so of course their uh, levels aren't going to be near the gym leader. It's going to be kind of around the same ballpark, but I think 19 is a good starting point for us. Not too much, not too little. Centrin? Isn't this like, ooh, level 13? Okay, we're already wrapping up. 
Gonna run out of brick breaks before I even get to the gym leader, bro. I think Petra's got this on lock. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that she'll do just fine. Beautiful. Sintrent, number three. Level 16, look at that, wow. This lady seems like kind of a trap, bro. She lures you in with like this false sense of security and busts that thing out. Thankfully, it's uh, no match for Petra. Let's see, oops, it's over. I had a dollar for every time a woman told me that, am I right? Yeah, this definitely is just like the layout of the original gym. Oh, what happens if we go up here? Oh, just another way to get down. That's right. Give me best shot or I'll take you down. Beauty Samantha, we got the Meowth. I wonder if this thing's got paid ale on me off. Brick break. Chops. Damage, bro. And thankfully, Petra's a female, so this um like cute charm shenanigans and attraction shenanigans aren't gonna work on her. Which is very lucky. Not very progressive though, Pokemon, am I right? <laughs> that didn't age well. <laughs> Nice. All right, we took uh, down the Meowth squad. No, oh Meowth, I'm so sorry. Happens. I am stuck now. I've been successfully trapped. Uh, oh, okay, this this way. Wait, no, it was. Oh, we have to go around like so. Okay, yeah, they kind of <laughs> moved around and things work. I do want to fight all the trainers though. At this point, it's really just free experience, to be perfectly honest. You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. <laughs> she might be spinning some truth here. I mean, so far it's gone very well. Last carry. Snubble, okay, they're actually a fairy type, so this is actually a very bad matchup. And they come with Intimidate. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get Petra out of there and switch for, uh, this is a good switch in. I think, um, Claudette's got this for sure. Absolutely. They can take just about anything they throw out here. Scary face, they're gonna lower speed. They actually miss, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna actually go ahead and use uh, Magnitude. We get Magnitude A. I love this move. I wish it was uh, distributed more. It's a really strong move when you get lucky, at least. They're gonna scary face us, lower speed. That does really matter to us because we're already pretty slow as it is, to be perfectly honest. As a matter of fact, we could actually negate it by going for uh, a rock polish. They're gonna charm us and lower our attack, which is a bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Gonna get a magnitude seven. Love the animation too, it's wonderful. And that's number number one taken care of. I wonder if they got a Clefair. Oh, they only had that. Gosh, I thought you were weak. Rip, dude. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. Last, Kathy. They got Jigglypuff, a normal and fairy type in this game. Um, so Brick Break will actually do neutral to this thing. I don't think they have Play Rough or anything super useful. They might have Dazzling Gleam. I don't think they get it this early. Oh wow. Do they not have the fairy type in this game? I actually don't remember. No, that's right. This is before the fairy type even existed. That's right. It wasn't implemented in Gen 4, huh? Of course. It's a Gen 4 remake. <laughs> so everything's still normal in this. I totally forgot about that. Completely spaced. Well, in that case, these three Jigglypuffs unfortunately are going down. I love their spray in this. They're very cute. Petra eating good tonight, my boys. <laughs> Petra eating real good. Yeah. Yeah, they did not need that tour dance. Oh, no, 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 no. She did not take it well. A preview of themes to come, surely. Okay, and with that, uh, we got one more trainer to go. The gym leader, Whitney. Hi, I'm Whitney. You. I saw you the radio chat where just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Uh, 
Okay, Whitney. She's not blowing smoke either. She's actually the stuff of nightmares, to be perfectly honest. Level 17, uh, Clefairy. Let's see if this thing has a chance to do any work versus Petra here. Hopefully not. Gonna break, break here. And we managed to take Clefairy off in uh, one move, which is wonderful news for us. Here we go, Petra. Okay, and her final Pokemon, Miltank. Hey, just one left, but I ain't losing here. Okay, we'll see about that. Brick break. It is level 19. And we get a crit <laughs> right away. Well, wow, this entire gym, this, they didn't have a chance against Petra, bro. I didn't even have to switch out versus Snubble. Ugh. Picks, oh, look at her face, bro. She's shocked. I would be embarrassed after that happened to me, too. Wah! Wah! You meanie. Yeah, she actually doesn't give us our gym badge. Wah! Okay, I guess we leave, then. Oh, no, you made Winnie cry. Uh, it's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. <laughs> what? What do you want? A badge? All right, I forgot. Uh, here's the plane badge. <laughs> We'll get the plane. I was really worried about that milk tank. I guess I had nothing to fear. Plane bands let your Pokemon use strength that's out of battle. Oh, you can have this too. TM45. Now, what is this? It's a track. It makes full use of Pokemon's charm. Uh, isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? That's right. I heard that this thing called the Pokeathlon Dome is now open right next to the National Park. You should go try it since you're so good at battling with your Pokemon. Okay, honestly, a uh, giant Roblox gym that I'm glad <laughs> we absolutely smoked. Yo, freaking, they let Petra petrify them, bro. Petra is very happy. I would be too. Nearly got completely unscathed from that place. I wonder if Brick Break would have taken out that snubble. What do you think of that? You won? Great. I was busy admiring the powerful trainers here. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I see, I see where... I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, it's mom. Hello? Hey, Bex, how are you? I found a usual, uh, useful item when shopping. That's right. I forgot to get the other one while we were there. I suppose we'll have to go pick that up in a second. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go in this uh, little flower shop here. And talk to you. Gee. Apparently, there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, that's a plane badge from Golden Rod Gym. You defeated Whitney? Well, there's uh, nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use the squirt bottle for a while, then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. I think it's a little squirtle design, too, huh? Let's have a look. It probably will show us in our uh, bag here. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Fashion case. Yeah, it's a little squirtle. That's cute. I love that. Well, I built this whole team for Whitney, and <laughs> I guess it wasn't necessary at, at all. Level 19 milk tank. Well, fantastic. I guess we can't uh, ask for a better gym leader than that. I love Oddish's little design. Look how cute they are. Little turnip looking thing. Erica is gazing re uh, restlessly at the building. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check out this tree business. This is where we can actually open up the uh, shortcut. That's right, we have a ton of trainers we have to get through first, don't we? Yeah, this route. We're going to the gym, me too. Picnicker Kim. Rocking the Vulpix, okay, very unlucky. Let's go in and swap out, we swap out the Claudette, yeah. Pretty decent lead in Claudette here, thankfully. Hit this thing with the magnitude B in our way. Oh, they're actually gonna roar us into who? We're just spreading the experience to everyone. All right, that's fine. Go out to Fuka. Aerial Ace this thing, call it a day. Fuka's new very powerful form. Surely will one shot a Vulpex. No prob. You get experience and you get experience. Oh, I can win. Well, you clicked roar. And nothing more. Forevermore. What's up with you? Nothing? Sure? Hello, just when you least expect it, I am Cameron, the f uh, photographer. 
You look so photogenic. Why don't we take a picture? Sure. All right, then get yourselves ready. Get a picture with our Oddish. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Look at this squad, bro. Good, good. We've got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures on your PC. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Oh, double battle here. Wonderful. I'm gonna show my girlfriend some hot stuff. Oh yeah, no, this isn't a double battle. You would think it would be because they're standing next to each other. Camper Elliot. There you go. That's a little more likely for Erica. Let's see how well they take this absorb. Probably pretty well. Absorb isn't a very strong move. I love the animation. I love the idea behind the move as well. Actually, no, they did not take it well. This scene has marvelous defense, but spidef, uh, not great. <laughs> not great. I'm so used to rapid spin actually giving them a speed boost. It's weird to not see it now. Back to full. I got Erica. Don't you have like a Charmander or something? You have a Meryl, okay. What I thought you had a starter. Zorbia. They actually get some pretty useful moves, honestly. Especially early on. Like, Acid isn't the best, but it's better than Absorb, really. I'm just using it because it's super effective versus these goons. Yeah, I've decided um, if we can actually manage to get a Leaf Stone, I, I think Vileplume will be a little more useful than Blossom, to be perfectly honest. A Tail Whip again. Okay, fair enough. You know what? I'll take that. Wonderful. GG, shake my hands. There we go. No problem at all. I wish he had lost for me. <laughs> he want me to stand back to show off to his girlfriend. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. <laughs> it's pretty funny, dude. That's pretty sad, actually. Dude, what if she... Picnic or Brooke? What if she gave you her phone number in front of them? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually mad funny. That'd be hilarious, bro. <laughs> okay, you have the Pikachu. I don't know why I thought like one of them had a starter. Pikachu's kind of a starter, huh? In a way. It's the mascot. Get our this nice magnitude here. Super useful to have this this early on. Magnitude four. I like how they all have different animations. We are minus two after all. Thankfully, there's nothing Pikachu can do to Claudette, so it's just a matter of time, really. But yeah, as you can see, Pikachu's tail has a little heart because it's a female, which is a cool little touch. Watch us get magnitude 10 when we don't need it. And two six. Yeah, this move is so cool. There's so many different animations for this one move. It's probably why they stopped including it so much, or it's not like all around. Oh my, you're so strong. Would you like my number? I can count uh, more on my Pokemon than my boyfriend's. <laughs> Damn, he's right there, dude. I've been getting Pokemon's out off the radio. I think I'm good. All these picnickers, bro. Camper, I, I'm sorry, Camper. Dude, this is Camper. My man pulls up with the Diglett. Yeah, Erica do having a feast out here, my guys. Absolutely. I wonder if it's uh, the bug cap catching competition today. That'd be neat. I'm really just trying to make it to the next town, to be perfectly honest. Zubat, okay. A little variety here. Let's uh, go ahead and switch up to Claudette. They are the switch, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They miss supersonic. Wonderful. Let's see if we can uh, land this rock throw. We do. That should be Zubat taken care of pretty easily. Wonderful. I'm glad that supersonic didn't connect. Super annoying move. Level 20. Look at you. I wonder what level they evolve. Oh, wait a minute. Do they have arena trap? That would be awful news, bro. Okay, they don't. Thank goodness. <laughs> that would have sucked. I don't know if they got magnitude yet. They very well could, actually. Go ahead and throw acid off. Why not? 
Hey, and we managed to land. It's, it looks so goopy and gross in this. Just want to see the animation, to be honest. They have Astonish. I guess that's kind of fitting for Diglett. They just kind of come out of the ground. I guess they could Astonish you if they come fully out of the ground. But like some of the fan art I see with these things, what they look like underneath there is kind of like horrifying, honestly. I wouldn't advise Googling it. I give up. Okay, Anish needs a couple more levels. Beyond my dexterity and grace. Uh, juggler Irwin. My guy pulled up with the Voltorb, level two. Uh, I think I see where this is going. If I remember correctly, he just keeps getting more Voltorbs that are higher level. Now I wonder if this thing has a Sonic Boom, which is a set 20 damage, which could be actually kind of annoying. Charge, huh? Wow, what a cool animation. I love that. Very cool. Um, yeah, they'll increase their special defense randomly. But, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to save them from this magnitude. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can take out all these things with Claudette. Claudette really saving the day here. Yeah, they're going to have four Volt Orbs. <laughs> but, yeah, they just increase in level. It's like kind of weird, right? Magnitude 9. It was like, I've had enough. Get me out of here. <laughs> Let's take care of these Voltorbs. Go to Denny's. It's late. I'm hungry. Level 10. Just one level on this one. Isn't the last one like... There's the Sonic Boom. That's a set 20 damage every time. Super annoying. Uh, especially in our situation, but... I mean, if the next one gets another Sonic Boom off... It's all good. It'll only be 20 every time guaranteed and you know, we have plenty of health for that God 10 levels and they still outspeed Voltorb is so speedy, bro Okay, and a tackle don't got to worry about this thing at all wonderful I did six that would definitely take it out Yeah, Voltorb's pretty frail Fun Pokemon to use though <laughs> Phew, that was a jolt. You're the best I've ever battled. You're the one who saved all the slowpoke. Well, no wonder I couldn't beat you. It would be okay to get your number. Uh, I don't want to miss anything you do from now on. Sure, bro. We got a fan. Just follow my Twitter, okay? Register the phone number. Wow, gee, thanks. I can call you anytime. Wait, hold on. You know, just to chat. Well, speaking of people calling us, maybe I should be handing my number out to everyone. You know, it's always raining Route 33. It never stops. I get kind of down on rainy days, but I know there's Pokemon out there that love the rain, like Totodile. Oh, it's freaking Lyra called us. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, let's um, let's go ahead and heal our uh, Claudette here. They are putting a lot of work in, aren't they? One of these days, I got to use all these good TMs. I just want to make sure I give it to the right Mon. There you go, Claudette. Is right is rain. As a matter of fact, we probably should just lead with them here, huh? This person definitely has like fire, uh, you know, poison side Pokemon. Practicing my fire breathing. Does he have like two Magmars? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Smog. Ah, oh, man, smoke screen, very annoying. Very cool animation of that thing, though. Uh, okay, thankfully we did connect. That should be Magmar taken care of. Magmar spread looks awesome in this game, wow. And another Magmar. Level 16, okay. Another smoke screen. Let's see if we get lucky here. Minus two, magnitude two. Unfortunately, we did not connect. Faint attack. Dude, did some damage. Aw, oh, man, 2-7, though. That would definitely take him out. Thankfully, we do connect. Wonderful. Nice. There you go, Claudette. Claudette freaking stealing the show today, my boys. God damn. Look at you, level 21. 21. Wonderful. Oh, I scorched the tip of my nose. That's rough, bro. Mostly I breathe fire, but want to exchange phone numbers? No. 
I know that the fire breathers weren't particularly well liked. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Gotta watch who I give this number to. I've been getting a lot of calls lately. It's nothing personal. Switch back out to Erica. I think we have the goon squad taken care of. Oh, wait, now there's a police officer right there. Okay, then. Well, let's give Nibble some love. Claudette getting crazy strong right now. Danger lurks in the nights. Am I do gonna pull up with the uh, Growlithe or the Hound Dower? Yeah, there's a Growlithe. Growlithe! Rawr, look at that sprite. My man's chonky now. With a nice headbutt. Gone. That's adamant, bro. Adamant, silk scarf boosted. Stab. Another intimidate. You would think Nibble would care, but Nibble just does not care, my guys. Look at that. They're like, I just, does evade me. I ain't intimidated. The game said I was, I ain't. Take that, policeman Dirk. My man said, oop. Okay then, uh, yeah, so this is a new route, I believe, yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can get a new Pokemon here. Sure. Survey says... Hoot Hoot! Level 14 too, wonderful. You'll love to see that. Okay, that's cool. I'm down for a Hoot Hoot. Had to happen sometime, right? Let's go ahead and use Stun Spore. On this boy, male Hoot Hoot. My boy rolled up with the Hypnosis. Alright, fair enough. Uh, let's see if we can actually wake up and throw Acid out. This thing probably is peck, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be that threatening. Yeah, Erica, that's what I'm saying. Erica is very bulky, man. And the level difference is not that bad, either. Oh, this is a special attacking move. Cause an uproar. It actually woke me up. <laughs> yeah, uproar wakes up the Pokemon. That's cool. We got to see that mechanic in action, actually. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so... There's that. Uh, I think that's that should be plenty. Let's go ahead and throw a great ball. I love Hoot Hoot. What a really cute Pokemon. I don't know if there's a lot of really super useful sets, but hey, we got our third burb. Hoot Hoot. Wonderful. Let's have a look. It always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast, the movement can rarely be seen. Absolutely, give a nice to know. Okay, so this Hoot Hoot, dudes. I don't know why this came to my mind. But we are going to call this thing... Doctor Now. Yep. Wow, that's spelling though, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, this 2D uh, screen is really small. Kinda hard to do this, honestly. Doctor, now, do you think you could do these? <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay, wonderful, nice. We got ourselves a hoot hoot. What a hoot. It's a nice nimbles. Deal with this bug catcher right quick. I'll go anywhere, bug Pokemon are there. Unfortunately, I don't have my HM uh, for cut on me right now. Bug catcher Arnie. Venonat. I love Venonat. This is my first shiny I've ever gotten. Yeah, shiny Venonat, the bug catching contest. And I still lost to like a pincer or something. Some dumb. I see, so you battled that way. I certainly did. You'll trade phone numbers with me, won't you? Okay. I think this guy has a chance to tell you if a lot of Yanma are here, which are rare Pokemon. I feel like battling you again, I'll call you. Be sure to give you a call. I guess it does really matter during a Nuzlocke though, huh? I don't remember being able to jump this ledge. Is this new? Aw, oh, we could have gotten a male Nidoran. That would have been awesome. That would have been a nice addition to our team, to be perfectly honest. Well, it looks like Nibble still has the uh, ability to run away. Which isn't the most useful in um, PvP or anything. But hey, I mean, like it's still good to have in the overworld. So I can't be super mad, honestly. Anything cool down here? Ooh, I think I found the Ultra Secret, my boys. 
<sighs> yeah, I've watched so many Drowsy, it's kind of ridiculous. Admittedly, it would have been very nice to be able to get a Drowsy for the playthrough. These things are bulky, dude. Oh. What kinds of Pokeballs he used? Whoa, I was not- I thought you were some secret dude. I didn't know you were just a random trainer. Birdkeeper Brian. Uh, rockin' the Pidgey, alright. Meet Nibble. He likes to eat bird. Chomp him. With your head. I guess it's not really the same without Hyperfane, huh? That's fine. Oh, Pidgeotto. Cool. Yo, I love the spread. It's so clean, bro. Nibble is on a rampage, dude. I don't see anything stopping this Raticate. Like, they're juiced up now. Level 21. Jesus, bro. Yikes. Not fast enough. Beautiful. I thought you were like a rocker based on your sprite, honestly. We got uh, Team 66 Payback. Pretty good on like slower mods. Friends, we're going to end that here. I hope you had a wonderful time. I certainly did. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Take care. Big thanks to everyone on Patreon and YouTube members for helping out the channel.